Hey guys, here's something interesting I found at a yard sale last Saturday. It's a, I'm guessing a late 50s um, transistor amplifier. And it's got all germanium transistors in it, like what you'd see in uh, early transistor radios. I don't have any example around here, but um, I bought this at a church uh, garage sale, yard sale, whatever. And um, I was told that this was part of their sound system at the church. And the people who own the church now, when they bought it in the 70s, they said it was there um, when they bought the place. Um, and that church has been there for, I'm guessing, probably the, since the 20s or 30s, maybe. But um, obviously this isn't that old, but um, I'm guessing probably around the 50s it was built. And... Um, I can show you the underneath, show you the transistors here. What is steady? Let me turn the lamp on. Okay, so here you can see these transistors here. And they're the old germanium types, like what you'd see in the transistor radios. And there's some more. I think those are called the top hat transistors. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's two on the top, real big ones. I think possibly output transistors. I think that's what they are. I don't know too much about them. But it's got all these big caps. I did replace this one and that one right there. I don't think I really needed to replace them, but I just replaced them just because I had exact replacements. thought, well, might as well. So, flip it over again here. And really all I did to it was was replace the power cord here because the old one was all nasty. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, I might have thrown it away, but eh, it was just nasty. Falling apart. So I replaced that and polished everything up. Got these old electrolytic capacitors shining. Polished this up. Just cleaned everything off. Polished the... Uh, Transformer casing here, all shiny, and uh, that's about it. Oh, and I had to replace this fuse here because it went bad, and that's about it. Then, what else I also had to do was I can't figure out what kind of um, input jacks these are, so I just kind of threw something together real quick until I could find exactly what I need. So, for the ground, I just got this alligator clip, clip it on right there, and sure you're positive. You just stick it in there. It's kind of like a miniature coax, but the the part with threads is about half the diameter of a normal coax. Don't really know what it is, but I kind of got it working with this little setup here. Got it into a um, old computer monitor plug, plugged into this old '70s transistor radio. And I can power it up real quick. And it doesn't have a power switch, so just right when you plug it in, that's when it powers up. Okay, so here we go. There it is on a speaker. People talk about me, baby. Say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong. Find something else. There we go. Sounds really, really good, even with most of the parts original, besides those two caps that I replaced. But uh, yeah, if anybody has any information on this thing about maybe who built it or, or just anything about it, it was just kind of interesting that it's a, I would say it's probably one of their first or, or really early 
uh, all transistor amplifiers because at that point, you know, tube amplifiers were pretty much, you know, really all, all the people, all people really use for guitars and stuff. And it looks like it might have been mounted in a, in a cabinet at some time. It's got some stress right here where it might have been bolted to something. But, um, or if you know what kind of jack this is and where I can get one, just, um, send me a message or something, but, uh, thanks. Thanks again.